The word robot can mean a number of things. Industrial manufacturing machines, military drones, eye surgeons, and millions more. But when it comes to pop culture, robot usually means something like a humanoid machine that will do our chores, our work, and our general bidding. Whatever their form, robots are increasingly part of our world, sparking debate over sentience and autonomy, identity, and the possible danger of artificial intelligence. Will robots take over our jobs? Or take over the world? Depending on how you define robot, we could go way back to the ancient Greeks who made hydraulic-powered water clocks and gear-based systems that track the location of the sun. But it wasn't until 1495 that Leonardo da Vinci designed the first humanoid robot, possibly based on his famous Vitruvian. Machines of increasing complexity popped up in the following centuries. Then, at the 1939 World's Fair, Westinghouse unveiled Electro, a human-like machine that could respond to voice commands, walk, talk, and even smoke. I am a smart fellow, as I have a very fine brain. As the mechanics of robots progressed, so did the software, with developments like the APT programming language and the quicksort algorithm. Finally, in 1954, American inventor George Devil created the Unimate, the first digital programmable robot. In 1961, it became the first industrial robot when it was put to work at a General Motors plant in Ewing Township, New Jersey. Since then, the robotics field has exploded, with projects like Shaky the Robot, Fred, the Omnibot 2000, a host of increasingly complex robotic arms, and many more combinations of complex hardware and software leading up to today. Robots are now all around us, though despite the Roomba, we're still on the hook for most of the chores. Some robots are indeed the classic humanoid machine of our dreams, like Honda's Asimo personal assistant that can recognize its owner's face and perform tasks. Others are on the assembly line building our phones, in hospitals performing laparoscopic surgery, in orchards picking fruit. Thanks to complex programming, advanced algorithms, and artificial intelligence, robotics is more involved and more sophisticated than ever. It's exciting, but it also raises concerns. There's constant hand-wringing about whether robots will make human workers obsolete. Others wonder just how smart we should make these robots. What rights should they have? Will we be able to govern their behavior, or will they govern us? Leaders including Bill Gates, Elon Musk, and Stephen Hawking have expressed varying degrees of concern about letting robots take too much control. But it's certain that robots are here to stay, perhaps even longer than humans. Thank you. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.